Hey guys, what's going on? It's T-Car. Today, we are gonna be doing a lot of adventuring, but we have to do some housekeeping first. Do you remember when uh, we were putting out all the traps and we were putting them down in this location and stuff and we had our big trapping weekend where we didn't catch anything? Well, we've gotta be responsible trappers now and make sure all of our traps are disabled, which we have. But also, it's the end of trapping season. The beginning starts in November. It's springtime. What we're going to do is, and it's 70 degrees, it's amazing outside. We're going to pull all our traps, take them in, tune them up for next year, and we'll do some housekeeping there and stay with me as I watch that. But after that, I want to check out some an area that I found off the Tennessee River that you can only get to by boat or kayak. So we're kind of excited about that. And I've got some buddies of mine that uh, we'll see if we can do some deer, some squirrel hunting there. And we're gonna check this area out. I've seen some uh, sign where some other campers have been. So some guys have made, got to it by boat and done a little campsite. I don't know if there's been any hunting. We'll check some sign and, and we'll just see. But a great adventure today. Um, stay with me guys and we'll go from there. This will never not be beautiful to me. It's just gorgeous. So we left the bait out here, but we disabled the traps. I'm interested to see if those traps, looks like the traps haven't been messed with, but I'm interested to see, like did anything get near them? So let's go in here and we got a lot of stuff. Let's go down here and see if the food got messed with. And that'll tell us a lot if these things are successful. Yeah, good. That food's all been taken out of there. That's really, really, really great size. So I'm excited about that. Uh, that means to me that something has been in here and has at least eaten it. So that's really good. All right. So you can really see now that we've had some warmer weather. Just this area has just been tore up. And as you can see, they've definitely eaten all the food, which again, I'm very pleased with. Very, very pleased. All right, so we got that done. So now we are going to head out to a creek. And I don't want to give too much information away, but we're going to head out to like a boat ramp. I've got my kayak with me. Um, got my Pathfinder Scout Pack. I've got my Baco Laplander saw. I have got my, uh, I've got my little hatchet, uh, my Swiss made hatchet, uh, wetterlings. And we're going to test out uh, we're gonna check the area out. We're also gonna test out a little stove. Um, I've already done the four Patriots star, uh, Starfire camp stove and it's really good. I didn't take it out today. I took like a little folding uh, stove out. Stay with me, we'll see how it does. And uh, I've got some soup to cook and I've got my little Pathfinder, uh, little cup and bottle set and see how that works and see if it's like a quick little system. Cause what I've found is I love building a campfire. But for days like today, I gotta build something fast, I gotta boil it, or cook whatever I'm eating, eat it, and then go. So I'm really, these little camp stoves, in my opinion, are fitting that bill for me. So, and keeping it in a safe way where I don't have this big fire or whatnot. So stay with me, see how this stove does, see how this system works, and we'll see if we can, if it's gonna be a good enough system to go out and hunt to this area and travel and all that so all right guys we are out here and it's actually a pretty busy day on the lake we are going to head over that way and you can see where the boat ramp was we're going to head over that way into this little cove and see what we can find As we get closer to that, you can see how windy it is. And you can see, there we go, there's that beautiful crane. But you can see how windy it is, it's already flipped me around. You see how kind of hard it is to get back here. I'm excited. 
This might be a little honey hole. Ooh, that's put we are very, very shallow. There's a boat already in here, but they're fishing. But I'm up to exploring. So we'll explore. Alright, so we're back in here and it looks pretty good. I've seen some places where people have camping, but we're gonna kind of go back in here and see what we can find. Alright, I wanted to show you a little setup. I've got a little cheap Pelican Trailblazer 100. I've got my pack squared away here on the front and uh, got my collapsible stuff. It's really, it's not super cheap, but it, I mean, it works. So this place has been used. I want to check it out and see what people have going on. Let's check this place up here real quick. There's a sign here that I'm interested in. I couldn't read it. Looks like there's a little... This has been used quite well. I like it. You pack it in, you pack it out. And I agree with that. I big time agree with it. So... Look at here, boys and girls. Looks like... I'm not the only ones that had this idea. At all. Huh. This might be a little spot, fellers. That's wild. Alright, so let's check and see what I've got. Shall we check out my little system? So I've got this and just a little burlap bag. That this is. Let's see what brand this is. This is a Staddlehorn titanium stove, and it goes together basically in several pieces. But I'll show you how it works here in just a second. Let me put it together for you guys. So goes together like such it slides it slides in each piece slides in there so you got this which is your bottom piece that slides in like such got three notches and then this piece Slides in here, slides down. I think you're basically you're set. And it also comes with these two pieces here that go in like that. So we'll just set them. Little titanium things. We go like that and then basically you've got your stove set up so it's got a cross here so what you can do our goal is you can build a fire and you got to get everything square and level there we go set your cup or whatever you're doing out there today we've got some soup and Build it, do your thing, go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna build our fire in here and work it through. All right, guys. Let's see if we can start this with a ferro rod. Got a ferro rod, got my SEJG5. And we're just going to see. Alright. I think we'll be good. There we go. So then you start putting bigger things. And the whole goal 
is you do that and then you start putting you start putting bigger things in there like such and that's supposed to give you a bed of coals uh, those flames are kind of not so high so we'll start we'll start that that thing reduce a little bit let that thing cool off look at all that steam coming off of there all right well let's give this bad boy a shot we're still still got the uh the fire going and it's going pretty dang good there's just something about a fire and what I was talking about earlier, I just need to show you this. Look at the steam rolling off of that. So, what I was talking about earlier was, see, this gives me the ability, or I, I would, a little stove or camp stove like this gives me the ability to start a fire very quickly, cook what I need to cook, and get out. Because sometimes I don't have time to sit here and wait on a fire to burn out. Sometimes I need it to burn out really quickly and to be good. So the cool thing about this is this is just a few sticks and leaves and trees. I don't know. But the cool thing is this is just a few sticks and it can burn out really quickly. Hmm. This is good stuff. It's fun to have little adventures when you got the right gear. I haven't talked enough about this cup. Man, it is just it is just a great little cup. It comes with it actually comes with a bottle, comes with the cup, comes with um, comes with this. It actually comes in like a little case, and it it comes with. Uh, it comes with it came with these utensils and a, like a little thing to hold over the fire so but man this it works great it's got little markings in here i mean this just works on a, like a great little camping trip or like little day hike like i've got um the soup can fits right over the top of it so i mean it's it's just it's pretty wonderful so i've had great luck it's got these little things that fold out so you can pick it up um, i would still wear gloves or have something to pick it up with because it that does get real hot but um these work great i mean i've had this for golly about a year and a half now it works really good and it's uh it's dave canterbury's it's the pathfinder one so pick it up if you, if you can oh also lid uh has little strainers i mean it's it's really well designed so pathfinder gear is definitely the way to go this is finally cooling off. Um, I'm going to get some water and, find, and just kind of cool this off. But this is a really cool little setup too. So, I mean, it's one of those things like which is better, like uh, six in one hand, half dozen in the other. I mean, they're all, I mean, this is a good little thing. I'm going to test this out with my buddy tomorrow evening and see what he thinks. All right. Guys, the Staddlehorn Titanium Stove. That's pretty cool. Um, did really, really well. Had trouble starting the fire in it. So that would be, I guess, my only thing is, is you got to start the fire and then kind of shove it in there. But other than that, it's it's great because if once you get that fire started in there, you can just kind of keep shoveling that stuff. And it, as you can see, it, it did a really great job of cleaning up as well. So how you take this thing down, pretty simple. You just take these out. And 
basically just take it apart. That folds up. It's super lightweight. Look at that. You throw that in a little bag. There you go. So that's the one thing that this thing has in common over some other stoves is, or has is better than some other stoves is this thing just folds up flat. You can throw that in there. Take this, throw that in there. And then you can kind of clean up. So we pack our, pack our stuff out. Do that. Put it all in there. And then there you go. There's your little cook system. Throw that in your backpack and go.